Hi, Tech Rabbit here. So anyway, we're gonna continue the um, 3D printer build. And now we're going to work on <coughs> tit axis assembly. So let's have a look at that. Then. <coughs> More than not included. So here's the um, parts. So we have the printed parts, um, the two top parts, the two bottom parts, the two um, uh, what do they call motor covers, and then you have the um, box of uh, or the bag of screws, and that's that one there. Oh, focus, thank you. And then uh, we have the um, <coughs> two motors. We have already um, lead screws installed on them. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I forget to mention something. Ah, yeah, and then the X axis that we already built in the previous video. So if you want to see the building of this, you can go check it out. I can actually post a card for it in the video, so easier to get. Okay, let's see. That's the face, so we'll see um, what we do first then. Oh, actually we need to put the printer in. <laughs> put the printer on. Now I'm going to reorganize a bit. Just a sec. Okay, cleaned up a bit and got the printer here. So the printer is now standing here and the Prusa logo is on the front facing side and then you have the two bottom motor holders and then, um, they need to be so they're not the same so they have this notch in them so that this is the left hand one and this is the right hand one and then they need to be they're going to be put in with these 10 millimeter long screws screwed on to the bottom so let's get to work and do that printer so I can actually go. Yeah, that should be okay. And then we need to put it. Oh, it's a bit tight those holes. Pre-screw the screws. I'm just blocking the hole. Well, this is probably the easiest way is to let this go sideways. And then try and see the hole, because everything's like black. bottom one. Let me just move that up. Oh, maybe not the easiest angle to screw from. Tighten this 
right. Okay, so I'll just do the same on the other side and start with the with the, um, with the bottom one first with this at an angle and one easier to screw and then come in and I'll put it up upright and then screw those two. And I suggest slotting the screws into the holes first. It makes it a lot easier to get them into place. So, so that's the motor platforms in place. Let's see what's the next phase. Okay, so that's done. Three screws on each side. The right and left should be correct according to the picture. And now we need to take the uh, <sighs> motors for the z-axis and then get them prepared. So that means to take the nut off. Take one of the <laughs> I will pause the video for this, nobody wants. Because now one has to screw screw this one off. And then one has to um, screw one of these protectors on. Motor protectors. Oh. because it's black that one. and then this one needs to be put in place so I uh, will do some of that back soon okay so I'm going to screw these motor protectors on I must say they don't really go on very easily I had a hard time getting it started and now I'm using gloves to to actually grip on it and the axle to, um, to screw it on. So I mean, it start when once you get it started, it seems to like go. And then there are, I think there's a design. It is designed to have these notches in there, so don't file them away because then you you can't position it above the motor. So that's what it looks like inside. So that's just to oh, screw it on. It'll take a little while to do this. Back one down. Okay, so that's done. I think I need to show it here. So here's the motor covers. And then make sure you don't screw it so tightly that the axle can't turn freely. So you need to leave a bit of clearance uh, between the top of the mo motor, um, top of the motor, and this motor cover. Okay, so that's done. Let's see what's next on the list. to put the motors in. Oh, let me take the motors and we put them on the motor mounts and then they're going to have four screws. And um, I suppose it would be I'm gonna have to lay it flat to be able to so what screws is it using? Yeah, uh, 10 millimeter long screws. And there are four. Yeah, so that's eight of them. Box. 
Okay. Um, let's see. It would be the easiest to install it if I put it like this. And then it's important to notice that one of the motors has a shorter cable and the other one a longer one. So now we have to check. Double check which one is going to go where. So the one with the shorter cable should be on the left. to look at the orientation of the cable. Where does it go? Towards the frame. Okay. So, I should just go in there like that. Too much of a problem. Screw them in, I hope. Put them over here. I wonder if we need the. If we should cover it with the mini cap. Thing like that, I so don't want to get it blinded by the, the lights. There's too many lights around. Light is needed. I'll do the same, the same procedure for the other side. So, okay, that's done. So I've completed this phase. And the next phase is we're going to have to put the um, nuts for the um, z-axis trapezoidal setup and so okay so then I have to move the printer out of the way so we we can cover that okay now we have the parts so we have to put this nut on uh, we 
with two other with these two knots and these are 18 millimeter long screws and they need to be inserted into these two sides I can't see it <laughs> in there I think I might move back to the big and then um, now they just one the one should look the one that actually puts them in the right way around so if they're like that oh that so I'll put puts them in the right way. So let's get that done. Let's see if I can position this camera a little bit better. And again I'll show like one side and then I'll do the other one off cam. It's not that done. So it goes on there like that. And then the screws were inserted from this side. needs to be actually slotted in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's in the back there in that hole you need to put the nut. So I'll put the nuts on there and then continue with this side. I'll be back in a second. Okay that's now fixed so you know that inserted two screws in and then the, oh, let's see if we can get a better pitch so there's one nut in the corner there and then the other one needs to be inserted in that little hole and I actually was successful by using this just putting the nut on top of the tip there and then I'm catching it on the edge and dropping it in while this is in this position and I did the same trick for the other side so okay now we need to get prepared for the next step which is going to be actually putting so we completed this and then we're going to go to this actually put the x-axis on the printer so I'll just prepare that okay let's see this one so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, put the x-axis in place and we have already assembled it and then we need to lift it into place. So I tried to set up a camera setup that would show the best angles. So let's see, so this should just come on top there. And then very easily one should try and uh, screw these in. No, not really that easy. Let's start it on that side. This is oh, those are really tough on the fingers. I, I actually have to take my glove. I mean, they're not like they're gonna cut your fingers. Those threads. Wow! Now I screwed it the wrong way. Okay, and then one should screw it down. And according to the instructions, we should leave a, it should be in line with the um, bottom part of the frame here. Approximately. Um, oh, so that should be approximately there. It can be adjusted later. 
relatively easily. And then, let's see. And now it's to prepare for the top brackets. that camera in place though. So the two top brackets. Just same as in the picture. Uh, top right, top left. Okay, there's a few screw left. So these need to go through the linear bearings. And we'll have to do that very carefully. So we don't push out any bearing, any roll bearings. That moved actually that. But I have experienced that before. It moved the bearing down. But the thing is that these usually need to loosen up a bit, so. So I'm not too worried about that. We can put them back in place once we've got it all aligned. Also, I've noticed that you can leave these things. You can act. Uh, you can get into the groove here with a screwdriver, and you can push the bearing up. <laughs> I've actually seen that problem before. It's actually relatively tight because these are not 100% aligned until they've actually worn in a bit, in my experience. So one has to have like everything set up and squared out. And then it will. Um, actually be okay. So, and we try and do it on the same on this side. Oh, that went in much easier. So, maybe it's, it's this side that's not that super well aligned, those. Oh, now it's seized up already. So now it moves very nicely. Oh, put it in the hole. In the hole. We need to press it into the hole down there. And then we need to put the bracket in place. Just goes around like that. One there, and then the same on the other side. So, we just need to screw them in, I think. to see what I'm doing. Seems 
So, outside. Oh, well, that's better aligned. Okay, so that's in place. Now I will just um, fix that bearing into the right position. Okay, okay now I just um, I used um, this screwdriver here, and then you can get in in the groove, and then you can just push the bearing up. So now it's in where it should be. So that's fixed. And um, for those who don't have kids that have already eaten up the candy, then you can eat the next section of the candy. And um, we have now completed the Z-axis assembly. So anyway, if you enjoyed that, um, you know, consider subscribing. Um, Hit the bell icon to be notified. If you think there's somebody else that would be interested, share the video. And um, the build will of course continue, so um, see you in the next one.